everybody. It's me, Big Bird. And me, Cookie Monster. Welcome to Sesame Street. <laughs> and hi, I'm Bob. And you know what we're going to be talking about and singing about here on Sesame Street today? I know, I know. Me know too. We're going to be talking about all the parts of the body. That's right, Big Bird. And I've got a song that'll help start things off. It's all about the parts of the face. Oh, me know what me favorite part of the face is. <laughs> well, good, Cookie Monster. I'll start the song, and then you and Big Bird can join in when your turn comes. Right in the middle of my face, right in its very special place, there is a thing that helps me sneeze and breathe as easy as I please. It helps me smell a pretty rose. And it's called a nose, nose, nose. Yes, I've got a nose, nose, nose. I've got a nose, oh yes I do. And so do you. I got something in the middle of my face I can tell about. Above my nose, I'm sure you'll agree. There are two things that help me see. I use them when I look at you. And you use yours to see me, too. They help see birds and trees and sky. And they're called eyes, eyes, eyes. Yes, I've got two eyes, eyes, eyes. I've got two eyes, oh, yes, I do. And so do you. Me know something terrific in the middle of me face. And here we go telling you, right up above me chin, there is a thing me put cookies in. Yeah, it help me talk, it help me chew, it help me smile when eating through. From east to west and north to south. Ah, everybody got the mouth, mouth, mouth. Yes, we got the mouth, mouth, mouth. Me got the mouth, oh yes, me do. Ah, and so do you. How do you do? It is I, the Count. They call me the Count because I love to count things. <laughs> I was just listening to that song about the parts of the face, about the mouth and the nose. Now the mouth and the nose are all right, but they can't compare to my favorite part of the body. Let me tell you about it. And my heart sings Four hands can do so many, many things Your hands can brush your teeth or comb your hair Throw a ball into the air Wave hello or wave goodbye Even make a pizza pie Use a fork, use a spoon Hold a string on a balloon Paint a picture, buy a shoe So many things your hands can do See, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve things I mentioned that the hands can do. And people think noses are wonderful. Huh. A nose can breathe, a nose can smell. Not many things a nose does well. But hands can do so many things for you. I've mentioned some, now let me add a few. Your hands can turn the pages of a book, pick a phone up off the hook, rub your nose, scratch your head, flip a coin or make your bed, push your button, write your name, pat a dog and play a game, pick a flower, yes it's true, so very many things your Things and we should try to think of them, yes. Let's try to think of them. 
the ants can strum a guitar, they can dig in the sand, or they can clap for someone, or they can turn on a faucet, or shake hands with other hands. Hi there, it's me, Bert. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just getting ready to play a terrific game. Oh, is it neat. A game that uses all my favorite parts of the body. So, uh, hey, why don't you join me, huh? It's really going to be nifty. Everybody ready? Hey, let's go! <laughs> Everybody shake your wrist. One, two, three. That's it. Everybody shake your wrist, <laughs> just like me. You don't know what fun you've missed until you come and shake your wrist. <laughs> I got another one that's between the chin and the shoulders. Okay. <laughs> Everybody bend your neck. One, two, three. Everybody bend your neck. <laughs> Just like me. Be a bird and try to pat. Join on in and bend your neck. I have another terrific body part now, and this one's on your hair. Ready? <laughs> Everybody wiggle your thumb. It's the kind of fat finger on the end. <laughs> It'll cheer you up when you're feeling glum. A thumb wiggle, see? Oh, yeah. Now, here's another one. Everybody stick out your lip. Okay, now, here we go. One more exciting one. Everyone stand on your heels. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone stand on your heels. See? Yeah. Just like me. Come on, everybody. Boy, oh boy, how great it feels when you're standing on your heels. Oh, kids, you know what we all did together? We stood on our heels. We stuck out our lip. We wiggled our thumb. We bent our neck. And you know the best part? We shook our wrist. Wow. Hi. You know what I was just thinking about? I was just thinking about another part of the body. Everybody has two of them, and they sort of stick out on the side of your head. You know what they are? That's right, ears. And you know what you use your ears for? Right again, to hear things. And if you just stop and listen, you can hear some very pretty things. your eyes and listen you can hear a thousand sounds go drifting by just listen you can hear the wind blow you can hear the raindrops falling from the sky and there's music and the sound of laughter Things your hands can never hold and eyes can never see. So listen to the world around you. Listen to how lovely that world can be. You know, there are all kinds of things you can listen to. How about your dog when he's happy and barking? That's a nice sound. Or your mom saying goodnight. That's a nice sound, too. Birds whistling up in the trees. Cats meowing. Thunder during a rainstorm. You and your best friend giggling together. Those are all nice sounds. And there's music and the sound of laughter. Things your hands can never hold and eyes can never see.
You know, there are so many nice things you can hear if you just listen. Hello there. It is your little friend, Grover, and I am here to talk to you about feet. I have two cute little furry feet, and you have two feet too, you know, although they are probably not furry like my feet. Do you know what I like about feet? I will tell you. I have feet. My feet can walk. Do you want to see me walk? You do. All right, then I will walk for you. Here I go, walking, putting one furry foot in front of the other furry foot. Oh, walking is so good for monsters. For boys and girls, too. <sighs> that was fun. Now, do you know what else my feet can do? I will tell you. I have feet. My feet can hop. <sighs> do you want to see me hop? You do. All right, then I will hop for you. Okay, here we go, hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, I love to hop. Bunny rabbit hopping. Oh, oh, you can hop on one foot like this, oh, and hop on the other foot. Oh, oh, more hopping and hopping and hopping and hopping. Oh, getting a bit tired. Oh, oh. Anyway, you know, there are more things that my feet can do. I have feet. My feet can dance. Do you want to see me dance? You do. All right, then I will dance for you. Here we go! Disco! Okay, yeah. You know, Cookie Monster, you look a little tired. Uh, Bob, you're right. Me just ate whole box cookies and me feel a little tired. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, Bob, I just spent a whole hour playing with my paperclip collection. I'm feeling a little tired myself. Well, you know what that means? No, I don't. What does that mean? It means it's time to do very special thing. <laughs> Big box of cookies from the kitchen. We eat them all till my tummy start to ache. So before me eat another box of cookies, there is one more thing. Me take me go and take a rest. Yeah, me take a rest. Put me head on me pillow and me hands on me chest. Me love eating cookies, but sometimes it's best to take it slow, take it easy, take a rest. Edward, you ever take a rest? Oh, sure, Cookie. If you're an active kind of guy like me, you have to. Sometimes I can't go walk around the corner. 